saying ah uh, ah, uh, then they saw Apple Auntie A. Magic Apple. Apple. There you go. Good job. And you're doing it. And what other things start with the letter A? Hi. Do ants, yeah, yeah. ants yeah. start with the letter A? Yeah. And yeah. amphibians start with the letter A. Yeah. And you know, my friend, Mr. Chris, the science guy, has lots of amphibians. Yeah. And wait till you see what Mr. Chris, the science guy, has to show us today. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, boys and girls. Walk them through. This is our first A. Hi, Chris. We're going to call this guy here our letter A. I heard you say the big word amphibian, huh? Did you guys say the big word amphibian? We call this guy a frog, though. F-R-O-G. But he's our amphibian. Let's go ahead and we're going to put him back in here for a second. There he is. That was called an Argentinian horned toad. Now we're going to look at some alphabet books here. The first one we're going to open up is the letter A. These are about all the different animals in the water. There's an angelfish. And then let's do the alphabet bird book right here. Oh. And let's see, what, what do you think the letter A for a bird is going to be? Let's find out. What's the letter A for a bird? Have a you heard about this bird? A bird. It's called an abacet. A what? A flamingo. A mango. A is for abacet. A pretty smart bird is the agile abacet. Stands on his right foot so his breath won't get wet. So we're going to talk about the letter A today. Tell me what this is with the letter A. You see this guy here? What, what is this with the letter A? This guy, well, that would be a good guess, but that's the letter C. See this guy here? How do you think this guy fits together? A letter A. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a hint. Uh -huh. Allie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Allie, and burn with the uh, uh, Allie, like the what? Uh, alligator. That's an alligator. Right, that's an easy one, right? So that's the letter A for alligator. Did you guys see it? Yeah. Now, let's go check out this other animal over here. Okay. What is this animal here? Hey. Now, what is that Did you guys see this big guy here? Yeah. Let's take a look here. Oh, he has antlers. Yeah. Now this guy has got antlers, and it happens to be a special animal from Africa. Oh, it's an oh, yeah, antelope. It's, not. It is. Oh, it's called an antelope, and in this case, it's actually an impala. But you can see those antlers and the antelope. Oh, and the antelope is kind of like ant, like a little bug, right? With a loaf. So that's our antelope. And that's to compare it to this guy here. And that's a deer with antlers. Look, he's got deer antlers. This is a mule deer here. And so the mule deer eats lots of grass and plants. You can see that with his flat teeth right there. So that's our deer and our antelope. Now, I want to introduce you guys some other animals that aren't necessarily with the letter A, but we're going to find out what they might eat or might do that has the letter A. So here's some of our friends at Tree Frog Trek. This guy likes to get his sun. <laughs> so he's getting his vitamin D and A from the sun. Is that a dragon? Yeah. That's right. That's the bearded dragon. And can anybody think of a, a way to describe the bearded dragon with the letter A in some way? It's a dragon. Do you think dragons are angry? They're not yeah. really supposed to be, but sometimes they're looked at that way, right? When they fire breathe. That would be a way to describe it. You might say that, right? Hi. Hi. 
So this is a bearded dragon. This guy's name is Matt the Loch Ness Monster. That's our friend. His name is Matt. Matt has an A in it, right? M-A-T-T. Matt. Now let's go look at a different animal. These two are similar but different. All right, look at this here. What are these animals here? I don't know. But she's zooming with us. Let's take a look. You see those? Now here, those are lies. Here's my book about them. A movie book. This book is about snakes. You guys see that? And this snake here and here, these are called corn snakes. Let's watch them move a little bit. See the corn snakes move? Now, what's an A word to describe a moving corn snake, do you think? What's an A word that makes a moving corn snake? Mm. Oh, what is a snake? Well, you could say they're awesome and they're very agile. Is one thing I would oh, say. Oh, my goodness. They're agile. Starts with the letter A. See how they're moving? It's a big word for how well they can move. Oh, and now he's coming back to the skull. He's going by the alligator. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, he's going underneath the tarp. Look. Oh, and out the other side. I don't see. Oh, oh. oh, my goodness. Pretty cool. What the heck? Now, we, we just, had, we just had another snake have some food. He was just eating. Oh, Let's go meet that snake. That one is called oh my goodness. a ball python. So this one here is called Fluffy. That's Fluffy. And this one here is called Declan. That's Declan. And they both have a belly that's got black and white, which is the name of the corn snake. And this one is more orange. All right, let's go meet. Let's go meet the animal that just had a bunch of snacks. Okay. So there goes Fluffy again. Oh, that's it. Oh, look at it. You see Fluffy there? Oh. There he goes. You see the tongue? Oh, God. Look at those tongue and the eyes. No. All right, Fluffy, you go back in there for a second. We'll leave Matt right there in the sun. Now we've got our friend that likes to walk around outside. Who likes to walk around? Is that a one? see this guy? Yeah. Who is it? Who is this? It's a turtle. No. Now there's a word to describe how many years old you are that starts with the letter A. Like mommies and daddies always say, oh, my son is eight years old. That's their blank. And this one happens to be 65 years old. And that's this animal's age. So age is A-G-E. And this is an old turtle. This guy is called Trucker. And Trucker's super chill. You see Trucker walking around? He's got a little red eyeball ring and a red nose. And he just loves to truck around. Look at that. Hi, Trucker. So what do you think about your age? Think about that. And the word age has two vowels and a consonant, A-G-E, age. And that's a hard G, a hard A, I mean, age. So we'll let Trucker truck a little bit. Trucker's got my hat on because Trucker walks around a lot. We don't want to lose him. And we give him a little pet on the butt there. He likes that, or she likes that. Now we're going to go by over here, and I'll show you our friend that was having a snack. I think she just finished her snack. Let's take a look. Yes, she did. This is Azula, and Azula is a ball python, and she just ate. Get it? She just ate. So she just finished her lunch. What does the word ate stand for when it's about eating? What's the first letter of eight? Say it to your neighbor. Easy peasy. It's the letter A. A-T-E, eight. Now, there's eight years old. That starts with the letter E. That's weird, huh? That's a very strange word. 
E-I-G-H-T. But Azula, you can see she just had her meal. There's her little mouth and her little tongue flicking out. She's looking at you guys. She's looking at me. She says, is there anything else to eat? So you know what she had to eat? <clears throat> she had a little mouth, a frozen, warmed up mouth. And then she's going to digest that mouth on her little blanket right here. Whoopsie. Excuse me, Azula. And then we'll let her take a break. So Azula has the ability to digest a mouth for lunch. Now, what did you eat for lunch, right? Now you can tell your friends that you ate something with the A-T-E word. Now we have a few other creatures <clears throat> to meet that live in the water. So <clears throat> we met the amphibian. If you just tuned in, this is the amphibian. And by the way, this is what they ate, a little mouse. This amphibian here is a frog, F-R-O-G. But what would be a good letter to describe a frog, a good letter A to describe a frog? Hmm, let's think about that for a while. They hop, they jump, they skip. Not quite as agile as a snake, right? Let's see. What do you think we should call this guy here for the letter A? Just think about it for your neighbor. They have some slimy skin. Their little ribs are gone and they have no ribs. They can live with their eyes up in the mud. What should we do? Let's go ask Trucker. I bet Trucker knows. Trucker will tell us about all the different cool creatures. Now, Trucker is our old tortoise friend. Here he is. Here she is. Now, Trucker, you're the oldest one here. You're 65 years old. What's a good letter to describe our friend the frog? Oh, well, Trucker says, that's easy. The frog is always the one to stick his tongue out and say rivet. They like to eat and they drink the water. That's why they're always wet and they're always slimy. So there's a good word to learn. The word always is the frog. Always wet, always slimy. See his skin is a little bit slimy there. Now let's go meet a turtle. It's like Trucker. Trucker's got red on the head and lives on land as a tortoise. But this guy here is a water turtle. Now what's a water turtle? They live in the rivers. And this is our friend right here called bamboo. Now we might use B for our next session, the letter B, but look at bamboo with those webbed feet. It's got a belly that's flat. It's got a little beak and it's got a red. She's got red on the side of her head. I think bamboo's a little girl. Watch how bamboo goes. Bamboo is super fast. So what's a, a, a good letter to describe bamboo? Hmm. Let's watch what she looks like. She's flat, which has a big letter A in the middle of it, F-L-A-T. Look how fast she is. Fast has a strong letter A in it too, right? She's cruising by. There she goes. Up and over. We're going to review real quick here our pond book now. And there's a turtle in the pond book. So if you start to learn your letters, then you can learn about the animals in your books. You see, we've got a turtle, a heron, and a duck. Let's see if there's any letters A describing any of the turtle creatures. Let's see if there's got a turtle in here. Here's some birds, snakes. Oh, here's some turtles. Hmm. Well, this is a red-eared slider we have right there, pond slider. Oh, there's an A in its scientific name, scripta. R basking turtles. They like to be in the sun. So there you go. They are basking turtles that lay, like to be in the sun. So there's some A's in basking. Now our last animal to meet today are animals with no backbone. So these are the animals that sometimes the bearded dragons might eat. And let's go ahead and we will show you they live in the dirt. And we've got a special <coughs> book that we can learn about the dirt. We're going to read from this book today. This is the 
composting book. We're going to see if we can find some fruits and vegetables that we eat that start with the letter A. And this is our composters down in here. We're going to dig them out in a second. Look at all that good stuff in there. So they're breaking things down. Whoopsie, there they are. The bugs. This is a dwarf flying cave roach. And here's a hissing cockroach. I don't know. Look at that guy. The cockroach. Oh, um, yum, yum. Do you like these cockroaches? I don't know what. These guys like these cockroaches. If I was to put this guy here, he would eat that cockroach in a second. But we want to keep this guy going for a bit, right? And then this is the dwarf flying cave roach right here. This guy's a flyer. You see those wings for flying in the sky? And you see his, his little antenna? Oh, antenna. Did you get that word? Antenna. That's got the A in it, remember? All right, we'll put him back in there. And there's another guy hiding down here. Another hissing Listen to this guy. There he goes. All right, let's look at our composting book for a second. Let's open up our composting book. Nature's Recyclers. Let's see if we can find something here that you might have had for lunch. Doing what nature does, they can break things down. So who had this for lunch right here? I did. Yeah. I had. That's an old A P P L E or apple. There's another um, lunch every day. cool fruit that you might eat that starts with the letter A or vegetable. Asparagus. There's some beautiful flowers. So I think we're we're gonna stay here with our apple. Now let's go ahead and head back over to Trucker, trucker. and we're going to get a chance to ask him another question today. Okay, Trucker, here we go. What's something else we should know about the letter A? Well, all of the things you met today that walk and talk and squig and wiggle All the things you met today are animals. Now, are you an animal? Are you an animal? You're a type of animal. Humans are animals, but Whoa. we have a different brain, right? We have a different brain. <laughs> These are reptiles and amphibians and bugs. But Trucker wants you to know that we're all animals. Uh, isn't that amazing? Scratch your head. From a giraffe to a elephant to a bug. So let's Let's think about that for a second, that we're all animals. Now, I don't know if you guys have time to ask me questions or not. I don't know what your protocol is going to be, but did your teachers or do you guys have any questions for Trucker about the letter A? And if you do, we'll ask him some questions. And if you don't, then we'll read a little bit or look at some books for some letter A. He loves, Trucker loves to eat apples too. Trucker loves to eat apples. So that's another good one to learn. I'm going to bring Trucker back down to here. And we can put Trucker right here in the sunshine. Now, animals, I want to compare to plants. I found this today when the rain and the, and the wind came, it blew this out of the tree. And this is our famous redwood tree. So you see the tree is green, see? And the grass is green. And that is a very big difference from the animal. See, the trees and the grasses can make their own food from the sun. See, the sun is bright. And that food is totally self-made with a very special process called photosynthesis. We'll talk about that another time. But they make their own food. Animals need to eat other things. So that's one cool thing to learn about. Right, Trucker? Trucker might have some snacks. And then here's our little friend, Matt, I'm done now. who's taking a walk. All right, let's do some um, animal goodbyes and maybe a little reading now before we sign off. This is Matt, the Loch Ness Monster, riding on Trucker. 
And let's go see if we can also find our friend, the amphibian. And we're gonna give him a little rain. Now, what do all living things need? They need a special liquid that falls out of the sky. And this is what it is right here, right? Rain or water. In fact, water has an A in it and rain has an A in it. All right, we're gonna to try to do a triple play here today. You think we can do a triple play? That trucker and Matt, and this is Ruth. All right, I think we've done it. We have our amphibian. Woo! We have our reptile, which we found him to be able to run in the sun, bask in the sun. And uh, we have trucker our turtle, our red-footed turtle. And they all we can learn about all of these by doing some reading, which if we learn our alphabet, we can do some pretty cool things with it. So I wanted to read you the bird alphabet book a bit today, and then we'll sign off and see if there's any other questions. Because the bird alphabet book is so fun to read. We learned about A for Avocet. Let's go ahead and turn the page to the next one. B, we're gonna study B to, uh, next week for blackbird. And we'll read them next week. See, this is a bird that lives in the water called a cormorant. D for dove. And these guys are beautiful. They live in the trees. They make little nests. We'll see if these guys want to join in on our story. He might want to join in a little bit. Oh, he's walking on the page. We'll put you down right here. And this one is called an egret. You can go to Stowe Lake and see the egrets right now in Golden Gate Park. There are egrets and herons, great blue herons. Oh, you guys heard about this one, ready? Flamingo, F is for flamingo. This is a type of duck, G for golden eye. Oh, H for hummingbird. I happen to have another way we preserve specimens is in a liquid. And we have a hummingbird here today that is not alive, but is in a mummy form. And you can see his long beak. And hummingbirds are very common right now calling out, oh, Excuse me, Trucker. Trucker wants to help us read about the hummingbird. All right, next. This is a special bird called an ibis. I for ibis. These guys are in our park. J for junco. They sound like a little laser beep, beep. when they call. Kingfisher, K, K, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L is a loon. M, these are beautiful gray birds in our park. Mockingbird. N for night heron. Oops. 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 Gonna turn the page, Matt. Everybody knows this one, so say it with me now. O is for owl. We'll do it about the O, but let's hoot. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. And a big word for birds is called ave. A-V-E-S. It's Latin, it's Spanish, but we, we call them aves, and that's birds. Pheasant, P is for pheasant. Q is for quail. R is for rooster, S is for swan, T is for teal, upside down pelican. Now that's not a real bird, but that's pretty fun. And neither is this bird here coming up. V for vulture, that's an easy one. We see vultures in our sky here sometimes and red-tailed hawks sometimes too in the sky. And this is W for woodpecker. Oh, you like about the woodpecker. Now this is a good one to end on. Well, I want to show you the whole story, but because this is a special A bird, what kind of bird is it? Let's look at that letter there. It starts with what letter again? Say it out loud. A or ah. A or ah. That's a big capital one. And there's a smaller one written in the book. Acorn woodpecker. That's his name. Pecking all day. That's his game. That's the woodpecker. Now, this is a silly one. X-ray bird. Yellow legs. And zebra bird, he pushed up against the wet paint. He's not really a zebra bird, is he? So there's some of our letters. All right, let's go get our animals some break time. And then we're gonna do our Bill of Rights cheer. And hopefully you guys will do some practice with the letter A and some reading. We'll put him in here. And we're gonna give Trucker some bell pepper, which starts with the letter B. But that's pretty close to A, right? A, B, because I don't have any apples on me right now. We'll go over here to Trucker for our Bill of Rights cheer. We'll say goodbye to our antelope with the antlers and our 
antlers here on the deer. Do we have antlers? Mm -mm. We have teeth, maybe similar material, right? All right, we're gonna give Trucker a little bit of delicious bell pepper. And I ran out of apples, so we're gonna pretend he's eating an apple, which is starting with the letter A. So you gotta cope or just adapt with what you've got, right? And here's our Bill of Rights cheer. I'll show you how we do it. So you put your hands in with me, and this is how we end every class. Goes like this. Me, 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 me. And then we hit the drum. O e o e o, o e o e o, o e o e o, cut it. And then we hit the hum. And then we're gonna yell Bill. Ready? Bill. And that's for the Bill of Rights of all the plants and animals. And then we'll put our hand over heart or face our face and we'll say i promise to share my favorite thing today about the letter a such as the apples i eat that make it composted down to the ground the antelope with the antlers that have them on their head the alligator with his big teeth and of course the agile amphibians so think about one letter a and say it out loud right now agile amphibians they ate some bugs today. And then you share what you know so that together, give me a T, so that together we can save, preserve, and maintain our home. Ready? Work together to share what you know so that we can save, preserve, and maintain our own home. So right now, I don't know how long you guys can pay attention because that's a long time. I was thinking about 25, 35 minutes. I'll sign off now with our call to arms with Trucker. And then I'll see if Diane or anybody else, Diane Alvarado with letter A, has anything else to say. Tucker, what word should we leave them with today for the letter A? Well, we started with you because you're so old, you're so wise. What is your age? Ah, oh, yes. She's 65 years old. Remember?